This video is for anyone who needs to connect to a unit with a Symbio 700 controller to configure, set up, or service the unit. Unlike the previous generation of controls, the Symbio 700 uses Bluetooth and a mobile app for service. I need to start by downloading the Symbio Service and Installation app from the Play Store. I'll tap the Play Store icon on my phone and then do a search for Symbio. The Symbio Service and Installation app is my first search result. Notice the look of the icon. You should be able to find it in your search results even if it's not first. Now I'm going to choose to install the app. Now that it's installed, I'm going to open the app and show you the pages you'll see the first time you use the app. First, I need to accept the terms and conditions. Either opt in or out of having my app data collected. Then, I'll have the option to sign in to Train Connect Remote Access if I have any controllers that I'll be accessing that way. In this case, I'm connecting to a controller right in front of me, so I'm going to hit Skip. Now I have the option to allow the Symbio app to access my device's location, which I will allow. Now I see the unit list. This is the page that would show me any units that I can connect to. I need to turn on Bluetooth and pair to the Symbio 700 before I can work with it. Very similar to how I would need to connect and pair to a speaker or a headset before I was able to use it. The first step is to enable Bluetooth. I'll hit the Enable button and then choose to turn on Bluetooth. Now I can use the arrow in the bottom right to return to the app, which is now scanning for devices to connect to. Now it's not finding any devices. I'm going to switch over to my camera app at this point. Then show you the Symbio 700 controller in front of me. Notice there's a Bluetooth button. When I hit the button, now it says Bluetooth waiting. A blue LED has started flashing at me. This means that the app is waiting to connect to something via Bluetooth. Use the green Refresh button in the upper right to redo the scan for Bluetooth equipment. Now you can see it's showing up. I know that because it says Train. I know this is my Symbio 700, and I can tap it. Now I need to pair to this device. The first thing I'm going to do, I see this pop-up. I'm going to hit OK. OK again. Now I need to press the checkmark button on the controller. There's a checkmark button right below the screen. I tap that, and now it says Bluetooth connected. I'm now connected to the controller, and it's telling me that the date and time on the controller are out of sync. It's a brand new Symbio 700 that has never been set up before, so I need to sync the date and time from my phone. Now I can see a little bit more information. This unit is unconfigured. I'm going to proceed to the configuration screen. Then hit Edit. Now at this point, I would be able to configure this controller as needed for a customer site. For those of you with an iPhone instead of an Android phone, the process is going to run the same, except that you'll be downloading the app from the App Store rather than the Play Store. The pages will look a little bit different when you get to making those settings changes. Otherwise, it's the same process of downloading the app, opening the app, and setting up the Bluetooth pairing and connection with the app. Thanks for your time.